Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things on my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And, uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So, anyway, please, please enjoy. Nine Perfect Strangers. Yes, uh, an eight episodic uh, drama mystery thriller miniseries. Yeah, uh, based on the 2018 novel of the same name by Leanne. Moriarty, created by David E. Kelly, who also developed the series alongside John Henry Butterworth. The series premiered on August 18, 2021 on Hulu and it's also available as I'm watching this on Amazon Prime. We've been able to look at the first three episodes as I'm doing this and then the other five will be showing weekly. So I'm just doing a little review, uh, a little look at the first three and see what we've got so far. What's it about? Well, it's about nine strangers from the city gather for a 10 day retreat at Tranquillium, a house, a health and wellness resort which promises to transform and heal the guests who stay there. The resort is not what it seems to be and the guests are about to discover many secrets about each other and the resort's host, Masha. There we go. Stars, of course, a multitude of stars. We've got Nicole Kidman as Masha, the, the founder of this resort. We've got Melissa McCarthy, a novelist struggling with professional and personal life. Of course she is. Michael Shannon as Napoleon Marconi. Uh, Zoe's father, a high school teacher grieving the death of his son. Luke Evans as Larsley, a man who comes to resort with a hidden agenda. Samara Weaver as Jessica Chandler, a social media influencer and Ben's wife, Asha Keddy as Heather Marconi, Napoleon's wife and Zoe's mother, mourning the death of her son, of course she will be, Melvin Gregg as Ben Chandler, Jessica's wealthy lottery winner husband, lucky boy, Tiffany Boone as Delilah, a devoted employee at Tranquillium House, manager Kinto as Yai, as Yao or Yai, uh, Mash's right hand man at Tranquillium House, Grace Van Patten as Zoe Marconi, Napoleon Heather's daughter, grieving the death of her twin brother, well they're all grieving aren't they of course, Zoe Tarakis as Glory, another employee at Tranquillium House, Regina Hall as Carmel Schneider, a single mother whose husband left her for a younger woman, the swine, and Bobby Cannavale, there you, are. you can't, well, you can't have a car for without Cannavale, can we? As Tony Hogburn, a, tight, a former tight end struggling with his drug addiction, there you go. Just a normal bunch really then at this uh, this little retreat. So what what we're we doing? What what we're we getting so far? Is it any good? Well, Rotten Tomatoes reports a sixty four percent positivity rating with an average rating of six point four out of ten. So that's too bad uh, based on seventy four critics reviews. But I've been looking through these reviews. Some are just done on the first three episodes. Some have been done on more. Some have been done on the whole series. So it is a bit of a mishmash, but still still a positive one. Uh, one of the rottens was Kelly Lawler from USA Today. She said it's a huge disappointment considering it stars study cast and best-selling source material more than anything else the hulu series feels hollow okay uh, one fresh from melanie mcfarland from salon.com nine perfect strangers may not be the five star tv but for an audience star for indulgence it does the job and the consensus a meandering mystery may muddle its impact but strong performances across the board from his eclectic ensemble mean nine perfect strangers never less than watchable yeah okay rotten tomatoes audience well they're a bit kinder they're 73 percent positivity so that's good but metacritic are not impressed they're 52 out of 100 that's 31 critics seven positive 21 mixed, a big chunk, and just three negative, though. So, not total disaster, but it scores anywhere between a, a meagre 25, and there's lots of scores of 40 and 50 as well. But it does go up to 94 out of 100, so someone did like it, but uh, perhaps liked it a bit too much. But uh, yeah, just look at some of the lower scores. Kevin Fallon from the Daily Beast, uh, he gave it 30 out of 100. And he classed it, he said, season one review over the course of three episodes. So, we already did the three episodes. The Intuitous narrative amounts to the guests wandering on a seemingly never-ending loop. Why are we here? Three hours into the show, I do not know why they are there, but I did stop caring about the answer in about half that time. It doesn't help that the performances are all over the place. The story is so underwritten that no amount of Kidman's signature eye twitch acting could hypnotise you into caring. Yeah, it's 
Kevin and Leggy, but that, that, that is a little bit harsh, but that is one of the lower ratings. Internet Movie Database, that's Joe Public. So that's the public who've uh, presumably only watched the three episodes like I have. Uh, 1,698 reviews and scores left. And averages 7.4 out of 10. So that's pretty healthy of that. 1,449, so that's 85%. Uh, gave it six or more. So totally different to most of the critics on, on, on that. And if you look independently at the three episodes, episode one has scored an average of 7.4 out of 10, episode two scores 7.6, and episode three scored 8.2. I would have probably not put episode three as high as the other two, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, so still still quite healthy. Yeah, so my little thoughts on this. I mean, uh, I did have a feeling that this was going to be a sort of Fantasy Island rip-off when I started to watch it. Uh, it wasn't, well, apart from very loosely, but then again, we've only watched three episodes, so there's uh, another five to go and plenty of time for the plane, the plane to uh, to uh, come into it, isn't there? But uh, uh, I don't think we're going to get that, to be honest with you. You do need good characters for something like this. Of course you do. You've not got to have good chemistry on screen. You've got to sort of care about at least some of the characters. Uh, and yeah, I thought they're all right. I thought uh, I thought they were fine. The characters I quite liked them. They quickly grew. They sort of most of them quickly grew. I mean, not all of them. Uh, so I think that sort of, it sort of succeeds on that level that I've got an interest in the characters. Uh, although obviously it says that some of the many of the critics have been very less than kind with some of the characters and some of the actors playing the characters. Characters, as far as this is concerned, of course McCarthy. And kind of Harley vehicles. Uh, there are a few of them now, aren't there? I've lost them losing count of how many they do, but uh, get a little bit of stick, don't they? But uh, whether that's come into it on these bad reviews, I'm not too sure. For me, in the main, I quite I don't mind. I've I've not minded most of their films. I think uh, the criticism's a bit unfair, uh, but it does seem to have brought out the haters this series again. But as I said, it's I might be reading more into it than it, it pro I probably should. Well, it's not so 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 far. I mean, it's not edge of the seat stuff, of course. It, but the fact that there's so many characters all, and they're all given quite a fair amount of airtime as well. There's a lot to develop their own little stories, and some are a bit bit bland and unexciting the backstories. But uh, it does keep your interest. But uh, you know, it, the only the only thing I do worry about is this may become all a little bit disappointing, because we do need a little few more shocks and twists in the last two or three yet uh, the last two thirds of this series. Uh, a lot of comparisons with HBO's White Lotus. Now I've never, I've not seen that, so I can't make a comparison myself. But there are a lot of comparisons. That actually scored seven point seven out of ten on Internet Movie Database, so a little bit higher than this. So there you go. The comparisons, though, sadly uh, for this series, are, are mainly unfavourable. There are there are one or two dissenters to that who, who like this just as much or if not more than uh, White Lotus but uh, yeah look, reading between the lines and reading some of the old the other critics uh, White Lotus sort of is coming out on top so if you've seen that you may not get the sort of up to that sort of level based on what I've seen. Uh, don't forget this is a, just a, a three out of the eight episode review and looking at some of the critics reviews they may have benefited from watching a, a few more episodes or even all eight uh, looking looking at the critics reviews on the various uh, websites uh, and there is still a, a lot of negativity so I do dread that the um, that this start, which I think is is fine, is okay, is is gonna peter out a little bit rather than get more twisty and turny, which I hope it will. But as far as we've got, I can only look. I can only look at the first three episodes. I, like you and me, it's like anything. If the first three episodes are okay, then by episode four and five, it starts to deteriorate. You can just stop watching it. It doesn't make any difference. At least I've been I've been entertained anyway by the first three episodes. So that's. that's that's, that's part, of, part of the battle, isn't it, really? So, yeah, as I said, some good chemistry uh, between the characters. Some uh, The Kidman character's interesting. I like to see her develop in a more darker way. I just think there's a, a more of an edge to Kidman. We're not quite seeing it yet, of course. Uh, butter wouldn't melt, but uh, but we'll see on that one anyway. But for me, so far, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it my basic watchable score. So far, it's just an OK series. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I, I say I do hope it will improve, but as I say just just you know it's like it's like um watching the end of a film isn't it when you look at some of these reviews and they look as though they've seen a few more episodes it, it doesn't bode well but uh, 
I'm hope I'm hoping perhaps perhaps if they watched the wrong ones, perhaps we've watched different ones, I'm not too sure. But uh, uh, either way I'll probably go back and watch that white uh, lotus as well, which as I said I've not I've not watched, but obviously you may have a, you may be you may have watched that. I've have the benefit of that more than I have. But uh, so uh, if, if the worst does happen and this does peter out and become a little bit disappointing i can always go back and watch white lotus can't I? so there you go but so far three episodes in three times about 44 45 minute episodes in uh we've got a six out of ten rating from me anyway but uh we'll see what happens and i say if, if it's if it, if it does come back uh, very very good or very very bad uh i'll probably be back on and just summarizing the whole series but if it does deteriorate i'll, I'll probably leave it anyway leave it just watch just say the first three were good and the rest of them weren't very good so we'll leave it at that but uh, there you go let me know what you think anyway if you've managed to watch the first three episodes of this and uh I'll be getting ready to watch episode four very, very soon as I'm recording this. Yeah, all the scores today were as at the 22nd of August, about 2pm UK time. So that's all the ratings and scores today. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Or perhaps you have a flit across. If, you have a, if you're into football and you want to have a, a watch of my football channel, the Cities and Channel, about my wonderful team, Manchester City, here, uh, we'll see you on there. But otherwise, back on air sometime. Please, whatever you do, till we meet again. I only ask one thing. Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.